a Star Trek style vision system, is to be tested on patients in Europe who have lost their sight. The technology is based on a technique known as neuromodulation, in which electricity from a chip stimulates the nervous system to restore sight. The revolutionary system, called Iris 2, is being commercialized by French company Pixium Vision. Today, it was announced that regulators have been granted permission for the trial to go ahead on 10 patients at Moorfields Eye Hospital in London. Other trials of the system are taking place in France, Germany and Austria. The British study will include patients suffering from the conditions retinitis pigmentosa, RP, Usher syndrome, Conrad dystrophy, and choroideremia, all of which can lead to blindness. Consultant ophthalmologist Dr. Mehi Mukt, who is leading the Moorfields trial, said, We are excited to participate in the clinical trial of IRIS-2, and be the first site in the UK. Patients with RP can now benefit from a new choice of retinal implant, that may potentially further improve visual outcomes. A number of competing retinal implant systems, are being developed by private companies, and institutions around the world. At the heart of IRIS-2 is a small silicon chip with 150 electrodes, that is implanted onto the retina. A video camera integrated into goggles sends images to a smartphone-sized portable computer, which converts them to electrical signals. These are transmitted wirelessly to the implant, which in turn stimulates the optic nerve. After surgery, patients have to learn to use the system, but with practice are able to see black, white and grey shapes. No starting date has yet been set for the trial, which has been approved by UK medical device regulators the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency MHRA. Retinal implants that restore some sight, when in the blind are already available, but their quality isn't good enough to work in many real-world conditions. Pixium Vision Solution, however, claims it has been able to restore the sight of rats, to a level equivalent to 2250. This would allow the wearer to see the largest line of letters in an optician's test. The company claims it may be able to get its final product, to restore vision to 2120, which would be a huge leap forward in vision quality. Second Sight, the company that got FDA approval for the first visual prosthesis two years ago, currently offers patients about 2300 vision. To use the gadget a surgeon, must first implant a small silicon chip with 150 electrodes on the retina. When the patient puts on the system's dark glasses, an integrated video camera sends images to a portable computer. A connected pocket processor converts, that recording into an infrared image, which the goggles will then beam into the eye. Pulses activate the electrodes in the implant, and the optic nerve carries the images back to the brain. Following surgery, patients have to train their brains to interpret the new images, which are seen in variations of back, white and grey. A small pilot program to test the system is already underway, with promising results.